Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Dennis Duke is my name. And like I promised you earlier, today I managed to get uh, hey, the father to the beautiful, mighty Esther and Ezekiel, the winners of this year's East Africa Go Talent. Now, the way I'm humble is because I'm with uh, the man of God, so I ought to be humble before him. You're welcome to my show. Thank you so much. How are you today? I'm doing good, thank you. How did you feel? First of all, how do you feel? I that, feel so that, good. that is stand as a killer in the country. I'm so very happy. Okay. I'm really excited. When did you get to know of them, like their music career? Well, um, since their childhood. They began when they are very, very young, and we realized they have talents, they can sing. Then we brought them in the same way. Yes. How have you been supportive to their career? I've been praying for them, talking to them, and loving them. It's very, very important. One of the things I love about them is that they are currently singing gospel music, mm -hmm. which is very good. The fact that you people who, who bro who've brought them up are into God, are into Christ. How are you going to safeguard that, to see that it, it continues, even after they've made 18, 25, and they're out of your control? Mm -hmm. Well, talking to them is very, very important, because every word you speak to a child is a seed. Eventually, it grows and turns them into what you want them to become. So we talk to them, we pray for them, we encourage them every now and then. You don't stop doing that. Yes. Most times, parents are very protective of their children. And uh, East Africa Go Talent, being such a big, big platform for them, somebody would be like, eh, my kids? No, I would not want them to go there. Why did you decide, no gant your money? Come back again. You feel it in your spirit. First of all, there are things that God will do and you realize it is God doing it. If you're sensitive in the spirit, you can discern and know this is what God is doing. You can't turn into God's way. So that's how I, I was looking at it. I realized this is God. Let God do his own will. And thank God, this is where we are now. How, first of all, how has the journey been for you and the children? It has been a good journey. The children are very humble. They are so, you know, disciplined. They are wonderful children. And uh, when you tell them anything, they will obey. They listen to me. But it's because of love. I love them so much. And I'm so close to them. Yes. They've now attained some sort of, uh, you know, exposure. Not only for Uganda, but also in Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, the East African region. And perhaps even in America, because East Africa Got Talent is a franchise of the America Got Talent. Yes. Uh, how do you intend to support them to pursue this musical journey? Because at some point they might be wanted and needed to go and, and maybe make a performance somewhere where you're not comfortable with. Mm. Like I've said, that if you realize it is God is making, you try to make sure you go out of your way so that God will do his own will because God has a purpose for everyone, even if they are our children, but God has a purpose for them. So you allow God to do his own will and support what God is doing. When you are prayerful, you will be sensitive in the spirit to discern that this is godly or it is ungodly. Yes. Uh, previously, they've been doing, you know, um, well, casual music, just singing other people's songs. Now they've attained this. Do you think it's high time now they pursued serious music, serious music production? Yes. Okay. I think this is showing us that we have to put more effort in training them and pushing them forward because... It is like it's a green light for us to move on with their talents and of, of course also studies in the same way. Yeah. Uh, do, do, are you planning to get maybe somebody, a writer, a music label that is going to manage them? Do you have a manager to manage the kids? We don't have a manager as yet, but as we continue to move on and get advices from other people, we might pick out something better for them and train them. Yes, they've, they've, they, they recently got about uh, 180 million Ugandan shillings. Um, as a parent, you're responsible to overseeing them, perhaps spend this money in the right way. How are you going to do that? We are going still to sit down and think. Because if you give yourself time, you can do better things. But if you rush, you make mistakes. So we are going to sit down and see what we can do, what is important for them. Also for remembrance when they are grown up better age than this so we have to do things as a memorial also for them you know a, a monument i can say <laughs> a monument for them to remember that we won east africa's got talent some years ago so we're going to think and see how we're going to do it 
uh, th 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 these kids, would you be comfortable with them doing a collaboration, maybe with a circular artist? Circular? No. We don't think doing that because... Maybe they are doing a gospel song, but with a circular. We wouldn't like to do that. It's not good. Because the moment you combine them with circular people, they might be driven into another line. So we have to be very careful for them to be staying in the gospel line because they are servants of God. Many people uh, that we've seen attain uh, the celebrity status at a young age have either dropped out of school, either started doing drugs, either, uh, you know, gotten into some criminal dubious activities. How are you going to safeguard? To say, because these are very, very young kids. One is uh, 11, another is 14. Mm. Most cases, two things matter a lot. They are the foundation of the kids and the environment. So if the environment is good, in which they are growing in, and also the foundation, you build on the foundation that they have. You talk to them, you build them, you pray for them, counsel them. When they grow up, they won't change from the way you train them into. into. Are you a musician? Maybe they picked that from <laughs> you. Yeah, I have a talent to sing, but I'm a preacher. I sing, of course, in church. I can sing, but I'm a preacher. I'm a pastor. Uh, I understand these people are also at school. You see, you cannot put somebody of that stature. Uh, usually there's always a problem when you attain the celebrity status. You feel like, okay, I think I don't fit here. There's a certain life I need to live. I mean, they've got to treat me this way. How are you going to say that they stay in school? Well, still, again, as I've said, you have to be very, you know, try as much as you can to talk to these kids. It's very, very important. And also to allow them to be humble and show them good things out of the bad things, to follow good things mainly. Yeah. I, I, I asked this question earlier, but I, I needed you to more elaborate. How do you feel being the father to not just the winners, but people who have talent. Like talent, when they sing, somebody feels like, okay, this is too much. <laughs> it is God's grace. You know, if you know it is not your making, you keep glorifying God. You just thank God for what is happening. But being a servant of God, sometimes you think that maybe God is rewarding you of what you've been doing, you know, praying, serving God. Sometimes God comes back to, to bless his servants and to make you happy, also to encourage you in the journey of ministry. That's what I think, and I'm really excited about that. Okay, so what some projects are you looking forward to engaging these uh, young children? We want to, to, to promote their talents, and uh, we are thinking that God will lead us still to see what we can do to encourage them to continue with their talents. One of them mentioned something to do with an orphanage. Uh, is that something you'd consider? Yes, thank you very much for that. We are thinking about the orphanages to take care of uh, vulnerable children, disadvantaged children and, and uh, the street kids. We are believing God for that also. It is in our plans. Mm. What would be your comment or a word to all the parents out there currently watching us uh, in relation to Esther and Ezekiel? Well, uh, for, for the parents, I would advise that Parents should always be close to their children. They should love them, talk to them and discover their talents and try to, to promote or raise up the talent in their children. And also for the children, they shouldn't hide their talents. Bring it out and then the parents will discover and raise it up. Thank you so much, Pastor, for joining me today. My name is Dennis Duke. I've been catching up with uh, Pastor Stephen Mutesasida, the father to the beautiful Esther Mutesasida and Ezekiel Mutesasida. As we try to catch up on some of the events that happened late last week, yes, as you've heard, I won't add anything. Seek God, and the rest will definitely follow you. Until then, it's a goodbye from us.